Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Paul. Once again, welcome to our channel. Thanks for taking some time this evening to visit us and uh, watch this video. And as always, you are also welcome to visit us at www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net, where we have posted hundreds of videos. And thanks for your emails sending and uh, in appreciation of our videos and how they have been helpful. And um, uh, I hope you score high on your examination. Tonight I want to talk a few minutes about statistical significance, especially type 1 and type 2 errors. And this is a raw topic. In fact, I think most people don't like it. I hated it when I was taking my step one. I mean, you talk about the errors and uh, statistical significances, positive predictive value, negative predictive value. What in, what in the world has medicine to do with this stuff? I always wondered. And uh, But nowadays, if you go to a conference, they talk about a trial. For example, we are doing a trial on using prednisone in ARDS and the confidence interval is this and this and this. So speakers talk about clinical trials a lot. That's why this is an important uh, topic that will stay with you almost all through your career. So even though this thing does not look like a medical topic, this is very, very important to learn both for your future medical practice and also for the sake of United States uh, medical license examination because you will get your tons of questions on biostatistics and on clinical trials. So today let us talk a few minutes about uh, null hypothesis and type 1 and type 2 errors. Null hypothesis is basically it says that there is no difference between groups or there is no difference between two outcomes. Whenever it says both are just the same, it is simply null hypothesis. Sometimes you accept null hypothesis, sometimes you reject it. For example, you made a survey and you concluded that there is no difference. Actually, there is a difference. That means null hypothesis is wrong because null hypothesis says no difference, but there is difference. That's why null hypothesis is wrong. And if you say that there is difference and a null hypo you have rejected the null hypothesis. So basically, this is... Uh, a statistical significance. Sometimes you put a value, for example, p-value, like 1 in 100 cases or 1 in 200 cases, and p-value always goes with null hypothesis and type 1 and type 2 errors. So let us uh, first look into type 1 and type 2 errors. For example, null hypothesis is true and you accepted null hypothesis. Both are correct. There is no problem. For example, null hypothesis is not true and you accepted it. That is type 2 error. If null hypothesis is not true and you accepted it, that is type 2 error. And the opposite will be type 1 error. For example, null hypothesis is true and you rejected it. That is type 1 error. So those are the most important things you need to remember. Let me describe the same points in terms of uh, a clinical trial. For example, you wanted to test the treatment of diabetes. Let us say you have chosen two treatments, treatment A treating with insulin, 
treatment B treating with metformin. So treatment A and treatment B. So you use these on a group of people. The truth is, I mean in reality, let us say there is no difference between these two groups. There is no difference between those two treatments. That is null hypothesis true because it says no difference. Really there is no difference. And so the treatments do not differ. Understand? Treatments do not differ both treating with insulin, treating with uh, uh, metformin does not differ. And in those cases you said treatments differ. That is false positive. You have committed type 1 error in those cases. If there is treatments do not differ and you said treatments differ that is type 1 error and it is false positive. And let us say like this, treatments actually differ. Treating with insulin and treating with uh, metformin actually differ. That means null hypothesis is wrong. But you said treatments do not differ. You have accepted a false null hypothesis then that get, becomes type 2 error. That means even though there is difference, you said there is no difference. You said there is no difference, that is false negative and that is type 2 error. So remember like hard mnemonic, false positive type 1 error, false negative type 2 error. That's very, very important. If you forget everything else in the world, just remember those two points. False positivity, type 1 error. False negativity, type 2 error. So false positivity, type 1 error. That means even though it is negative, you said it is positive. Think in that manner and you will remember for a long time. So false positivity, even though there is, it is negative, you said positive. That's why it became false positive. So originally the truth is it is negative. That means null hypothesis is true. And you have not accepted null hypothesis. And you ended up in false positivity that is type 1 error. In false negativity, that is, even though originally it is positive, you said it is f negative, so it is called false negative. So originally it is positive, that means there is difference and uh, null hypothesis is false because there is difference. And you have accepted a false null hypothesis. That's why it is type 2 error. So type 2 error is false negative. Type 1 error is false positive. So it is also known as alpha. Type 1 is also known as alpha and type 2 as beta. We will talk more about this when we talk about uh, statistical power and p-value. So I hope you get the difference between these two important uh, diseases sorry uh, uh, errors type 1 error and type 2 error i hope that helps you and as always you are welcome to visit our website www.usmlevideos.net that is www.usmlevideos.net where we have actually posted almost uh, 150 videos so far and uh, that number is growing every day because we post videos almost on a daily basis so please feel free to visit us and uh, browse through our videos and uh, make your comments available for all students to read and uh, your experiences you can share with us so that uh, everybody can learn something out of it and uh, score high on their uh, examination. So that is again www.usmle.